hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to connect your electro guitar to your Android device. What you'll need in order to connect your electro guitar to your Android device is one of these adapters. It looks like this. And let me show you real quick what it looks like once you order it from AliExpress. You'll get one of these packages and inside it you get the user's manual. and you get the adapter. Let me show you real quick how you can connect your guitar to your phone and how to use it with an application called Daplike. It's a real cool application. I suggest you check it out. I will leave a link to it down in the description below. And in the next video I will show you how you can connect your electro guitar with one of these. It's Euphoria UM2 audio interface. It's the one that actually works with devices, so you can use it as an audio interface for your device with other applications, and you can use it with tap like if you want to practice your guitar. Let me show you real quick how you can connect your guitar to your Android phone with one of these adapters. Let me switch to my phone camera, and I will see you in a bit. One thing I want to mention real quick is that one of these. I noticed that many people are having issues with this model and I just want to tell you that it's a piece of crap. Okay, forget about this. Just order this one. Okay? Order a bunch of these and you're good to go. Once you have a little bit more money I suggest you invest in one of these the Behringer UM2 is pretty cheap and you can get it even cheaper if you get it second hand so I suggest you better invest in one of these or bunch of these that's just one thing I really wanted to mention and I will not be doing a video on this one because it's a piece of shit and I don't know it's a personal opinion. Just wanted to mention it. And we're back. Okay, let me show you real quick how to connect your guitar to your phone. Okay, this is that like. This is the application that I've been talking about. And the reason you're seeing this is I have no available speakers that I can use for this video and that's the reason why I'm using Marshall MS2. As you can see, the iRig adapter is connected to my phone just as I would connect speakers or headphones to my phone. On the other end of the adapter you have input for your instrument and let's see if we get sound with this connection. This is where you would plug your headphones or your external speakers as you can see and this is where you plug your guitar. I will do that in just a second. Let me just see if we get sound from the application. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the application resets the preset that you've created, even if you saved it. I'm guessing it's just a weird bug with the application, but nevertheless, the moment of truth. The application has this nifty little feature. I don't know if you can see it. It's called Virtual Guitarist, where you can test your preset before plugging in your guitar. That's what I like to do. 
you have clean, rock and metal. Let's see with rock. The only thing left to do is to connect your instrument here on the iRig knockoff. So I'm just going to turn off the amp real quick. haven't been playing in a while so might be out of tune but nevertheless we have a tuner within the application itself so that's also a nifty little feature there okay 